Good evening, everyone. This is Robert. RJL Network presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1972 final week is on the air. Today's date is October 4, 72. This is closing day. One game to play today, and this game actually does have meaning. We are at Municipal Stadium as the Texas Rangers take on the Kansas City Royals. The Rangers come into this game of 67 and 86. They are, of course, out of it. The Royals are 82 and 71. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what the game means. In the National League, it's already decided the Houston Astros will play the Pittsburgh Pirates in NLDSA. The Chicago Cubs will play the Cincinnati Reds in NLDSB. Here is how it goes in the American League. Oakland is number one. Boston is number two. That will not change. Three teams in the American League did make the postseason. The question is, what will happen? As of today, Kansas City is the three seed. Baltimore is the four, and the Yankees are the five. The reason why Kansas City has percentage points better than Baltimore, Baltimore has a, is the four over the Yankees because the Orioles have a better board record. This is what will happen tonight, and the games that matter is the game we're going to play tonight between the Rangers and the Royals and the Yankee-Brewer game in a uh, 10-minute in ticker. If Kansas City and the New York Yankees both win, Kansas City will be the three seed. They will move on to the ALDS. The, the Yankees will move on to the four seed as they'll have a better record than Baltimore. And the Orioles will go to the five seed. And Baltimore will go to the Yankees for the AL wildcard AL wild game on, on uh, Friday. If Kansas, City win, if Kansas City wins and the Yankees lose, Kansas City is still the three seed. Baltimore is the four, and the Yankees are the five. It stays the way as it is. Baltimore does not play today. That's why the Orioles don't matter, at least in, the, in, in today's matchup. If Kansas City loses and the Yankees win, Kansas City drops all the way to the five, and the Yankees will take the number three seed and will move on into the divisional round. Baltimore stays the four. If both Kansas City and the Yankees both lose, Baltimore takes over the three seed. Kansas City drops the four, and the Yankees are the five. That is what's at stake tonight between the Yankees and the Royals, depending on what they do here on the inside pitch and the 10-minute ticker. So tonight's game actually has some matchups. Jeremy Brooks, Brian Patterson, Brian B., Jimmy Jam join us here at Municipal Stadium. And if the Reds win the night in fast score, they'll end with the exact same historical 95 wins. Well, you never know. Fast score has had some surprises, uh, a number of underachievers and maybe a couple of overachievers. But uh, tonight, uh, the Royals, this game is even more important than last night uh, because now Kansas City still controls their own destiny. Everybody knows what Kansas City did to the Rangers last night. The Rangers will be looking for a little payback. Kansas City uh, historically won this game. Uh, the Royals, four runs, 10 hits, and an error. The Rangers, no runs, two hits, and an error. And last night, the Rangers historically won that game, and they got pounded last night. Clay Baseball fan joins us here at Municipal Stadium. And good evening, good news at Strat World Series is in the can. I think I may premiere a few of these games on Saturday. Awesome sauce. I look forward, I look forward to seeing that. Today is closing day. Once again, guys, we made it through another regular season of Inside Pitch here on the network. For those of you who have joined me for at least a few games this season, I want to thank you very much. And for those of you who joined me for every one, every one of the games of this season, you guys need to get a life. Steeler fan joins us here now at Municipal Stadium because you guys, I'm sure you guys can come up with something better than watching somebody move cards and dice around the board uh, pretty much for the last two and a half months. Maybe you guys, you guys need to get a life. You know what I mean? So mm. John Haverly joins us here at Municipal Stadium. So, and Bob's Tabletop Sports. 
Well, looks like I'm going to have another nice crew tonight. Let's see what happens as the Royals win the night. They are the three seed and will move on to play the Boston Red Sox in the ALDS. But we got to still let's see what 10-minute ticker has to say as we will complete the season tonight. Uh, final standings will be paid. Well, final standings and the postseason bracket will both be placed in the VI in the Universal VIP Lounge tonight. So uh, enough talk. Let's play some baseball. Starting pitcher for the Kansas City Royals, and he had a great year in '72. Is Roger Nelson, and he will be the number one starter for the Royals in the postseason. Eleven wins, six losses, three saves, a 2.08 ERA. 120 strikeouts and 30 walks. We are at Municipal Stadium, a pitcher's park. Minus two to strikeouts, minus one to homers. Only 57 home runs were hit that year in 72. So if everybody is set and ready to go, the Rangers would like to would like to maybe get some payback after last night's Royals disaster. And we'll see what they do tonight here as the Royals destroyed the Rangers 18-3 to last night. But now Texas can go ahead because if the range if the Royals lose, they cannot get the number three seed. They must win tonight, and they will get the three seed no matter what. And then we'll see where the Yankees and the Orioles wind up at. Frank Rosek joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Let's go to the top of the first. Start leading off for the Rangers will be the center fielder, Dave Nelson, a 226 average, two homers, and 28 RBIs. We're going to use blue, white, and white dice. Royals are the home team. The fans here at Municipal Stadium are loud. There is not an empty seat. Royals win. They avoid the wild card series and go straight to the division series against the Red Sox. What will happen tonight? What will inside pitch have to say? Let's find out. First pitch. Nelson, 6-2. That is a range play. Uh, Nelson, uh, Roger Nelson pitching to Dave Nelson. Nelson versus Nelson. Dave Nelson, 6'4". That's a fly ball hit to left field. Going after that is Lou Pinella. He wasn't too bad. His range is a three. He won't get it. And that's going to be a single for Dave Nelson. So he leads off with a base hit. And the Rangers get a man on early right then and there. Infield goes to double play. Next battle will be the shortstop, Toby Hara, a 259 average, a homer and 31 RBIs. A young Toby Hara, I should say. David Vega joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Strategy roll, nothing on the eight. Actually, Nelson, I'm sorry, and actually, Nelson does get the steal sign. Eight plus one is nine. Fifteen plus two is 17. Uh, Ed Kirkpatrick is the catcher for the Royals. He has a zero arm. They're sending him. One to 17, he is safe. And he's thrown out at second base on an 18. Ed Kirkpatrick gets up, throws to second, and gets Nelson. A 1-17, to 17, he is safe, and it comes up with an 18. Holy cow. And there is one out. Stadium cheers. Yay! And now Harrell will bat with the, with the bases empty. Nelson, 2-5, possible error. Hara, 1-2, that's a, that's a power hit to left field. That's a 20. Against the righty, that's going to be a fly ball to left field. But going after it is Lou Pinella. His error rating is a 6. That's an 8. He'll make the catch, and that's out number 2. So 2 down now. And now the first baseman, Larry Bittner, a 259 average, three homers, 31 RBIs in 72. And let's see, apparently watching every night's more appealing than playing the game itself. Best entertainment on the internet. You guys are too, you guys are too, um, you guys are too nice, I should say. And uh, let's see here. Yes, cancer does, uh, cancer, cancer uh, does suck. Bittner is the batter. And Nelson, the pitcher. Nelson, 6'4". That's a pitcher result. That 20 is too high. Bittner, 4-1. And that's a fly ball to left field. And Pinella will go ahead and get that. And he'll make the catch. No, no runs, one hit, and a caught stealing as the evil D20 goes ahead and gets the job done. 
for the Royals, we will go to the bottom of the first. As Doug Sessoms joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Starting pitcher for the Texas Rangers tonight is Don Stanhouse. A two wins, nine losses, a 378 RA, 78 strikeouts, 68 walks, and 72. The Royals know all they got to do is win, and the number three seed is ours. Leading is theirs. Leading off for the Royals will be the right fielder, Steve Hovley, a 270 average, three homers, and 24 RBIs in 72. Stanhouse with the pitch. Stanhouse, 3 4, blank. Hovley, 6 1. That's fly to center field. And Dave Nelson will get to it for the out, one down. That'll bring up the second baseman, a young Jim Wolford. At least I think he's young. 240 average. Only played 15 games for the Royals in 72. Stanhouse will go ahead and deal. Stanhouse, 2-3. That's at the park. Municipal Stadium, 5-6. That's fly to right. And it will be Ted Ford getting to that. He'll make the play for out number two. As Phoenix Knight joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Next batter is a very underrated player, center fielder Amos Otis. 293 average, 11 homers, 54 RBIs. Very underrated player. Definitely Hall the very good. Stanhouse with the pitch. 2-5, that's at the park. Municipal Stadium, 5-1, and that is a grounder to second base. And Vic Harris will come over and get it. Send it over. And retire the side. One, two, three, go the Royals. No score after one. An interesting combination of Royals and Yankees wins and losses changes the playoff picture dramatically. We will go to the top of the second inning. Leading off for the Rangers will be the right fielder, Ted Ford. A two thirty five average, 14 homers, and 50 RBIs in 72. Nelson. 1-4, strikeout, 18, that is going to miss. Ford, 6-4, fly ball to right, and Steve Hubley will come in a little bit and get it. Next up is the left fielder, Dick Billings, a 254 average, 5 homers and 58 RBIs in 72. He is in left field for tonight's game. Nelson, 2-4, against the righty, strikeout plus 10. That 17 is going to be good enough. Swing and a miss, struck the mound. First strikeout for Nelson. And now here comes the catcher, Bill Fahey, a 168 average, a homer and 10 RBIs. Nelson, he'll go ahead and pitch. 1-3, error on a throw. Fahey, 4-4. Four, four. Nope, that's a fly ball to center. And that's going to be Amos Otis coming in. And he'll get it. And that is a 1-2-3 inning for Roger Nelson. Roger Nelson was one of the best pitchers in 72. He's going to be a very tough guy to get past whoever he faces in the postseason. We go to the bottom of the second. Leading off for the Royals will be the first baseman, John Mayberry. Also had a good year. 298 average, 25 homers, 100 RBIs. John Mayberry looking forward to this postseason for the Royals. Stanhouse, 6-4. Against the lefty, home run result. Against the righty, Mayberry needs a 19. Minus one is 18. That's a 10. It doesn't quite matter. Kaboom! Home run, John Mayberry! That is high, deep, and gone! Stadium cheers! Yay! Don Stanhouse put that one right over the plate, pitched Mayberry a meatball, and he turns that into lasagna, and the Royals have a 1-0 lead. And now the left fielder, Sweet Lou Pinella, had also a, good, a great year in 72. 312 average, 11 homers, and 72 RBIs in that year. Stanhouse, 4-5, against the righty, strikeout plus 10. That 4 will be easy. 
and that will be a K, and that is the first strikeout for Stanhouse. And now the catcher, Ed Kirkpatrick, a 275 average, nine homers, and 43 RBIs for the Royals in 72. Stan House, 2-4. That's a walk plus 10, and that's going to walk Kirkpatrick easily on a one. First walk given up by Stan House. And now we'll see the third baseman, Paul Shaw, a 228 average, six homers, and 41 RBIs. Infield is a double play. Kirkpatrick did have three stolen bases, and he actually gets the steal sign. 18 plus 2 is 10. Fahey a minus 2 is 8. They're not going to steal. They'll swing. Stanhouse, 6-2 against the righty. Strikeout plus 10. That's an 8, and that will get him struck him out. Second strikeout for Stanhouse. The Royals will now send up the shortstop, Freddie Patek, a 212 average, no homers, and 32 RBIs in 72. Vita Productions and Sports Time Machine, Utah Mike, join us here at Municipal Stadium. This is closing day. Good to have you guys here. Strategy roll, and nothing on the 10. Kirkpatrick stays at first. Stanhouse. 6-3. That's a pitcher result. That 20 is too high. Patek, 3-6. And that is a grounder to second base. Vic Harris is going to go ahead and get that. And he'll make the play and retire the side. One run, one hit, a walk on a solo bomb by John Mayberry. And the Royals have a 1-0 lead after two. Royals, very simple, win, and they clinch the three spot. Lose, and can't lose, and the Yankees have a chance to clinch it. And the Orioles can still get the three spot if the Royals and the Yankees both lose tonight. So a lot can happen in the ticker and, of course, tonight's game. Royals control their own destiny. Top of the third, and leading off of the Rangers, will be the third baseman, Jim Mason, a 197 average and 10 RBIs in 72. Nelson with the deal. Nelson, 5-4, strikeout, 15. That just missed. Mason, 6-2, fly ball to right. And it will be Hovley getting to that. He'll put it away for the out, one down. Here comes the second baseman, Vic Harris, a 140 average and 10 RBIs in 72. Nelson with the pitch. Nelson, 3-3 three, three against the switch left. That's a walk plus 10. That 16, believe it or not, doesn't walk him. Against righties is a 4. That would make him a 14. It's too high. Harris, 1-4, and he lines it right to first, and Mayberry is there. Two down. Wow, Harris can't believe he didn't walk. And now the pitcher, Don Stanhouse. He had a 129 average and an RBI in 72. Which 2024 Major League team will be disappointed on 2024 closing day? Oh, boy. Who knows? And by the way, the Yankees lost Garrett Cole for about two months. That's going to seriously hurt. Nelson will pitch. Nelson, 5-6. That's a blank. He's not tired. Stan House, 2-4, and that is a fly ball hit to right field. And that's going to be Hovley getting to that as well. And that is a 1-2-3 inning. 1-2-3, go the Rangers. Royals have a one nothing lead as we go to the bottom of the third. Stan House back on the mound. Leading off for the Royals will be their pitcher, Roger Nelson, who had an 0-93 average in 72. Stanhouse with the deal. Stanhouse, 2-5. That's at the park. Municipal Stadium. 4-1. Base hit center field for Roger Nelson. He goes ahead and gets into the hitting act. And he will head to first. Nelson says, DH, I don't need no stinking DH. The next batter will be Hovley. He's 0-1. for 1. Infield double play depth. Strategy, Nelson not going anywhere. Stanhouse will, yeah, Judge may, they say Judge will be ready for opening day, as far as I know. Stanhouse with the pitch. 
Stanhouse, 3-4. That is a blank. Hovley, 2-1. And that's a ground ball to first. So 1-1-1. One, one, one. Shortstop pivot. Hera, plus 1. 1-2. One Double play. Nope. Nelson is actually thrown out at second base. Hovley will take over at first on the fielder's choice. Next up is Wolford. Wolford is 0 for 1. Hovley had three stolen bases. Nothing happening on the 19. Stanhouse will go ahead and pitch. Stanhouse, 1 2. Range play. Wolford, 2 1. That's a base hit to center field. But it's a range play for Dave Nelson. But he stunk. His range is a one. And that's going to be a base hit to center field. It will be a single. Hovley, base runner three. Let's see here. Single to center plus one, a one to four. Hovley will get the third. Uh, nope, it's a possible out. And that is a six. Nelson has a plus two arm. So the only way there's going to be a play is on a one. And Hovley will get back to second easily and hold there. But it will be a base hit for Wolford. As Nelson couldn't get there, now the Royals got something going on here. Here comes Otis. Otis is 0 for 1. Infield still at double play depth. Timeout for one quick second. So now Otis will go ahead and he will bat. He's 0 for 1. 1 0. Favor of the Royals. Royals win. They clinch the 3 seed. Strategy roll. Nothing. That's a 20. Stanhouse turns around, fires to second base. And nope, Hovley will get back. Stanhouse got good pickoff ratings. And now he will pitch to Otis. Stanhouse, 1 6. Strikeout, 9. That's too high. Otis. 6-1, fly ball to left field. Dick Billings will go ahead and get to it. He'll make the catch for out number two. Hovley will stay at second base automatically. Two away now for Mayberry. Mayberry hit a bomb his first time up. Still runners at first and second here. Stanhouse trying to keep it a one nothing game so far. Already a much different game tonight than last night's strategy. That's a 20 again. Stanhouse turns around, gets throws to second, and again, Hovley will get back. Wow, Hovley's done a good job making sure he doesn't get caught by Stanhouse. Stanhouse will now pitch. Stanhouse, 6-3. That's a pitcher result, and that 6 is going to be an automatic out. And that's going to be a ground ball to short, handled easily by Toby Hara. He's going to throw to first to get Mayberry, and that will retire the side. No runs, two hits for the Royals, but they strand a couple here. And it's one nothing after three. Royals win, they clinch the three. Royals lose, it's up to the Yankees to clinch the three. Otherwise, it will go to Baltimore. We go to the top of the fourth. Top of the order for the Rangers with Dave Nelson coming up. He got a base hit his first time up. So Nelson versus Nelson. Roger, 1-4, strikeout, 16 is high. Dave, 1-5, base hit to left field. So right now, Dave Nelson is 2-for-2 two two against Roger Nelson. And Dave Nelson will get to second base, will get to first base again. The batter now is Hera. Nelson got caught stealing. And this time, this time, Nelson fires the first to get Dave Nelson and picked him off. Wow, Dave Nelson not having a good day on the bases. Roger Nelson throws to first and picks off Dave Nelson. And Dave Nelson gives Roger Nelson a mean look. Stadium cheers. Yay! Dave Nelson has reached base twice, thrown out at second on a caught stealing, and now picked off. One out. And Toby Hara sees Dave Nelson going back to the bench and said, hey, could you please stay on base and give me a chance to hit what you're on? Nelson will now pitch to Hara. 
Infield is back. Nelson, 3-1. That's an automatic out. And it's going to be a fly ball to right field. Steve Hubley will make the catch. Now the batter is Bittner. Bittner is 0 for 1. Nelson, he'll go ahead and pitch. Nelson, 3-1 against, an, again, another automatic out. And this time it's a fly to left. Lou Pinella will go ahead and get it. He will make the catch and retire the side. No runs, two hits. By the Rangers, the Royals still hold a 1-0 lead going to the bottom of the fourth. Sweet Lou Pinella leads off. He's 0 for 1. Stanhouse will go ahead and pitch. Stanhouse, 5-1. Possible error. Pinella, 5-4. And that's a ground ball to short. The ball is hit to Toby Hara. His error rating is an 11. That's a 6. He's going to pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it. By the time he picks it up, Pinella is safe. That's going to be an E6. So Pinella is safe on an error. That is the first error on the Rangers. They did have an error in the game historically, and Pinella is safe at first. It'll bring up Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick walked his first time up. Pinella had seven stolen bases. He will stay put. Infield double play. Stanhouse will pitch. Stanhouse, 4-5 against the lefty blank. Kirkpatrick, 6-4. Base hit, right past short. That's a single. Pinella will hold at second base. Does not have the speed to get the third there. But now the Royals got something going on here. And the batter now is Shaw. Shaw is 0 for 1. Still nobody out in the bottom of the fourth. Royals have a 1-0 lead, but they're trying to add to that strategy. Nothing on the four. Pinella stays put. Stan House. 5-2, range play at the park. Municipal Stadium, 3-3. Three, three. It's a fly ball, hit the left field. Going after that is Dick Billings. And in left field, he stinks. His range is a one. Nope, that's going to be that's gonna be a base hit to left field. It'll be a single. Pinella, base runner three. Single to left, plus one. A one to four. He will score. He will. Pinella will score. Kirkpatrick will take third. Shaw is on first. It's 2 nothing Royals. Stadium cheers. Yay! RBI single for Paul Shaw as Dick Billings couldn't make the play and left. It will now bring in Patek. Patek is 0 for 1. Infield is in. Royals already now up 2 nothing here. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 16. Kirkpatrick stays at sec at third. Shaw at first. Stanhouse. 2-2. Two -two. Wild pitch. No. Ball one. Stanhouse will try again. Stanhouse. 6-6. Six, six, error on a throw. Patek. 3-4. That's a power hit to right field. That's a 13. But against the righty, that's going to be an out. It's going to be a fly ball to right. A fly ball to right field. So that's going to be out number one. Now, will we have an error on a throw? we got to first find out if a throw occurs. Patek sacrifice fly of one. Nope. You will not bring in Kirkpatrick that way. Now, Kirkpatrick, a base running rating of three. And right fielder Ford is a minus two. So only a one Kirkpatrick can try to score. And he does not. Kirkpatrick will not be sent home. There will not be a throwing error. And Kirkpatrick will hold. So that is the first out. As they can't get Kirkpatrick in. The batter now is Nelson. Nelson got a base in his first time up. Infield is still in. Kirkpatrick on at third. Shaw on at first. Now one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Anything on the strat? At the 20, Stanhouse turns around, fires the first. And it's a balk. Stan Stanhouse, the umpire says, that's a balk. You did not come to a complete stop. And Stanhouse said, we are talking about it. I beat the pitch clock. 
That's a ball. Kirkpatrick will walk in and he will score. Show goes to second. It's 3 nothing Royals. Stadium cheers. Yay! They're actually thinking that they're actually saying Stanhouse didn't beat the pitch clock. Of course, there was no pitch clock in 1972. But that's going to bring in a run. And Shaw will now move to second base. So now 3 nothing Royals. The Stanhouse is called for a balk. And now Stanhouse will pitch to Nelson as Joe and Pico joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Strategy roll again. Nothing on the four. Shaw is at second base. Stanhouse will pitch. Stanhouse, 6-4 against the righty. Strikeout. That's an 11. Swing and a miss. Struck them out. Third K. For Stanhouse, and now two away. And now the batter is Hovley. Hovley is 0 for 2. Shaw on at second. Strategy roll. And that's a 19. Hovley will bat, will swing away. Stanhouse will pitch to Hovley. Stanhouse, 4 1, walk 17. That's too high. Hovley, 5 3. It's a base hit pass short, and that's a single. Shaw's going to have a base running rating of three with two outs. That will be enough. He will come around, and he will score. Four nothing Royals. Stadium cheers. Yay. And we've now reached the actual score of the game, which was a 4 0 win for the Royals, and we're only in the fourth inning. Next batter is Wolford. Wolford is one for two. Stanhouse on the mound. The game is meaningless to the Rangers, but the Royals, it means a lot. Trying to get that three seed and be automatically put into the ALDS against the Boston Red Sox. Strategy roll. That is a two. Uh, Hovley gets the steal sign, but he's not going to go. He will stay put. Stanhouse, 5-5, five, five, range play. Wolford, 4-2, ground ball, second base. That ball is it to Vic Harris. His range is a three. That's a three. He'll make a nice play out there, and he'll toss it to first to get the out, and that will retire the side. Three runs, three hits, one error, and a bulk. And the Royals now have a 4 0 lead here after four. We go to the top of the fifth. Leading off for the Rangers will be Ted Ford. He is 0 for 1. Nelson will go ahead and he will pitch. Nelson, 3-4, strikeout, 17 will miss. Ford, a 5-5, five, five, and he popped that out, pop out the third base. Shaw says he'll take it, and he'll make the catch in fair territory for the out. Next up is Billings. Billings is 0-2. Nelson, a 6-1, strikeout, 15 is high. Billings, a 3-1, and that is a ground out short, handled easily by Patek. He takes his time and tosses it over, two down. Next batter is Fahey. Fahey is 0-1. for 1. Nelson with the pitch. Nelson, 1-6, that's at the park. Municipal Stadium, 2-4, and that is a grounder to short once again. And Patek will get that. Take his time, toss it over, and retire the side. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Nelson has faced the minimum batters. He did give up two hits, but, but Dave Nelson was caught off base twice. We now go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Leading off for the Royals will be Amos Otis, and he's 0 for 2, looking for his first hit of the game. Stanhouse. 1-2, range play. Otis, 
4-6. That's a ground ball hit to third base. That's it to Jim Mason. His range is a two. And he got it. Nice play by Mason. Makes a nice stop. He'll throw the first to get Otis. And that's out number one. Nice play by Jim Mason. And now here's Mayberry. Mayberry one for two with a bomb. 4 nothing Royals. Bottom of the fifth. Royals win. They clinch the three seed. Stanhouse. 4-6. That is a blank. Mayberry. 6-5. That is a ground out to first base. Larry Bittner will take it himself to the bag. And now here's Sweet Lou. Lou is 0 for 2, but reached on an error. Stanhouse. They'll go ahead and deal. By the way, guys, I know you're talking about what can happen. Do not fall asleep on my Mets, by the way. I think they're going to be better than some people think. I don't know about playoffs, but I think they can win somewhere between 80 and 90 games. Don't fall asleep on my Mets. Stanhouse, 3-1. Error on a grounder. Pinella, 6-2. That is a ground ball. It's a ground ball to third. That ball is hit to Jim Mason. His error rating is a 13. That's a one. He's handcuffed, and he's not going to have a play, and that's going to be an error. That's going to be an E5 on Mason. Second error in the game for the Rangers. It keeps the inning alive for Shaw. Shaw, oh, not Shaw, Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick is one for one, singled, walked, and scored on a, and scored. A score on a bulk and two outs here. Pinella on at first base. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 13. Stanhouse, he will pitch. Stanhouse, 5-3. That's a walk plus 10. That's ball four easily. And now some action going on in the Ranger bullpen. As Stanhouse can only can pitch to 25 batters before he tires. And they're on, he's on the 25th batter, and that is Shaw. Shaw is one for two with a single. Rangers may go to the bullpen here. They don't want to really use up many pitchers on the final game of a season anyway, but you never know. Mets may be better, but that's a tough top of division. Oh, I completely agree about that. I completely agree. The Braves are still the best team in that division, but don't fall asleep on the Mets. Stanhouse will pitch. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 17. Stanhouse will pitch. Stanhouse, 2-4. That is a walk plus 10. And another ball four. So now bases are loaded. And now Stanhouse is tired. And the batter is Patek. And that will be it for Don Stanhouse as they will take him out of the game. So the Rangers are going to go to the bullpen now. Final game of the regular season, meaningless to them. They will go to a new pitcher. And they're going to bring out Horacio, Horacio Pena. Two wins, seven losses, 15 saves, a 3-2-0 ERA. Pena will be the second Ranger pitcher. He's due to bat third, though, in the sixth inning. But the Rangers are saying it's the final game of the season. Let's see if we can get some action out there. We're already down 4 nothing. Horatio Pena will now pitch to Patek. Patek is 0 for 2. Big chance here for the Royals to blow the game open. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 9. Pena will pitch. Pena, 1-2. Strikeout, 4. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that will end the inning. No runs, no hits, one error, two walks. And the Royals do strand the bases loaded, but right now a 4 nothing lead, and Roger Nelson is cruising after five. We go to the top of the sixth. Oh, did you guys see how well um, Edwin Diaz looked at his first outing? Struck out the side. I think he's going to be just fine. Top of the six, four nothing Royals. And Jim Mason leads off for Texas. He's 0 for 1. Royals win. They are the three seed. Nelson, 5 3. Strikeout, four. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is only the second strikeout for Nelson. One down. 
And now the batter is Harris. Harris is 0 for 1. I haven't heard of Bauer Marlins rumor. I just don't know who wants to take Bauer. I understand he's a fine pit. He's a good pitcher. There's no doubt in my mind he's a good pitcher. Do you really want the baggage? Dwayne Martz joins us here at Municipal Stadium. Nelson will pitch to Harris. Nelson, 1-2. Home run result. But Vic Harris has zeros. It's not happening. Plus, that minus one doesn't help either. Harris. 5-3, and instead he grounds it to second base. Wolford will go ahead and get that, and he'll throw it over for out number two. Put it right over the plate, but Harris couldn't do anything. Pena coming out of the game. Rangers will go to the bench, and coming on to pinch it for the Rangers will be Joe Lovito, 224 average, a homer, and 19 RBIs in 72. Nelson will go ahead and pitch. Nelson, 1-5, walk, 17. That is too high. Lovito, 6-6, six, six, and that's a ground ball to third. That'll be handled by Shaw. Shaw gets it, tosses it over, and retires aside. 1-2-3, go the Rangers. If it wasn't for the two base hits, Roger Nelson would be working on a perfect game through six, but we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Speaking of Roger Nelson, he will bat, and he is one for two with a single. Rangers will go to the bullpen, and they're going to go ahead and coming on to pitch for the Rangers will be Jim Panther. Five wins, nine losses, a 4-1-3 ERA in 72. Jim Panther will go ahead and pitch for the Rangers here in the bottom of the six. Four-nothing Royals. Panther, 3-1, walk, 18, that's too high. Nelson, 6-3, it's a base hit for Roger Nelson, he hits it past Panther. Holy cow, Nelson's two for three tonight. And again, he says, DH, I don't need no stinking DH. That'll bring up Hovley. Hovley is one for three, he's got a single, infield double play. Strategy rolls are still on. That is a four, but Nelson not going anywhere. Panther with the pitch. Panther, 3-3. Three, three, error on a grounder. Hovley, 3-5. That is a ground ball. It's a ground ball to first. The ball is hit to Larry Bittner. His error rating is a six. That's a 13. He won't make an error. So one, one, one. Shortstop, pivot Hara plus one. One to two, double play. Nope. Nelson thrown out at second base, and Hovley will get to first on a fielder's choice. Next batter is Wolford. Wolford is one for three. Hovley on it first. Infield still a double play depth. Strategy roll, and nothing on the 11. Hovley stays where he is. Panther with the pitch. 2-2, two, two, wild pitch. Nope, ball one. The eight is high. 2-3, strikeout, 11. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He'll get Wolford on the K. And now two outs. A chance now for Otis. Otis is 0 for 3. Still looking for his first hit of the ball game. Yes, the NCAA tournament. There's no better tournament than that. Panther will go ahead and pitch. Panther, 6-1. That's a blank. Otis, 2-5. And that's fly to left field. Dick Billings will go ahead and get to it. And he will make the catch and end the inning. No runs, one hit for the Royals. They're still holding on to a 4-0 lead here after 6. Top of the 7th. Roger Nelson, he will come out to pitch. He's got plenty in the tank. And once again, he'll be pitching to Dave Nelson, who's hit him twice. He's off, who's who's gotten base hits off of Roger twice. So Roger will play Dave. Roger will pitch. And 6-5, that's going to be an automatic out. He'll finally beat him. And that's going to be flied to right field. And Steve Hovley will go ahead and get there for the out. 
Next up is Hera. Hera is 0 for 2. Nelson, he'll pitch. Nelson, 4 5. Strikeout, 18 is high. Hera, a 4 5, and that's popped out to second base. Jim Wolford says he'll take it and retire the side for out number two. And now here's Bittner. Bittner is 0 for 2. Two men down. Nelson will go ahead and pitch. Nelson, 3-4. Strikeout, 6. That just missed. Bittner, 5-1. Base hit, center field. And that'll be a single for Bittner. And that is only the third hit of the game for the Rangers. That does mess up Roger Nelson's immaculate game, even though it would not be perfect. But he faced the minimum amount of batters, unless, of course, if Bittner gets picked off here. The next batter is Ford. Ford is 0 for 2. Bittner on it first. Strategy rolls actually are off. Nelson versus Ford. Here comes the pitch. Nelson, 5-2. Against the righty. Strikeout plus 10. That's a 15. Ford becomes a 23 minus 21. That is a swing. That is a miss. And a steer right out. Side retired. No runs. One hit for the Rangers. And right now the Royals are cruising here. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. Don't forget, we will still have our final 10-minute ticker of the 1972 season. There will be, no, of course, this is closing day. There will be no baseball tomorrow night for Thursday. We will return on Friday, and it is a definite we will have the American League Wild Card Series, but there will only be one game, but we don't know yet what game it will be. We don't know what game it will be yet, but we will definitely have the wild card game. So we will have that on Friday night to start the 1972 postseason. But who's playing? We won't know until tonight. We'll find out then. So don't go away after the final 10-minute ticker of the uh, 1972 season. I want to check out something real quick because I already have pitchers chosen depending on, depending on, uh, okay, that's what I wanted to know. Never mind. Okay. Okay. I still have, I have pictures already chosen for whoever is going to be there. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Royals lead 4 nothing. Jim Panther is going to stay on the mound. Why not? And he'll pitch to John Mayberry, who will lead off. Panther can pitch to three more batters before he tires. So 4 nothing Royals. Panther will pitch to Mayberry. Mayberry is one for three with a bomb. Panther, 2-5. Range play at the park. Municipal, 5-4. It's a single plus double to left field. But that ball is once again hit to Dick Billings. And he can't make a range play to save his life. His range is a one. And he won't make that one. That's going to be a base hit. But Mayberry has to try for two. Base runner one. Billings a zero arm. Mayberry is slow as mud, though. The only way he gets to second is on a one. Nope. He's going to pull. He's going to put on the brakes and head back to first. That's probably the best thing he should do. But that is a base hit from Mayberry. And now the batter is Pinella. Pinella is 0 for 3. But he's reached on two, he's reached on base twice by error. Infield is a double play. 
Mayberry on it first. Strategy rolls are off. Panther, one, two. That is a blank. He's not tired. Pinella, three, two. That's flied to left. And Dick Billings this time doesn't have to make a range play. He will just make a play, and that's out number one. Kirkpatrick is next. He is one for one, but walked twice and got a single. Mayberry on it first. Fans here at Municipal Stadium ready to probably go for a big cheer here as the Royals would clinch the number three seed and avoid the wild card game. Panther for one possible error. Kirkpatrick. 5-4, fly ball, left field. That ball is into Dick Billings. His error rating is a 10. That's an 18. He'll make the catch. Two down. And now here's Shaw. Panther is tired. They're going to say pitch. They'll keep Panther out there and let him pitch. Shaw is one for two, a single and a walk. Mayberry still holding on at first. Panther will pitch. Panther, 1-5, that's at the park. Municipal Stadium, 4-1, base hit, center field. Mayberry with two outs, a base running rating of two. Single to center, plus one. A 1-3, one to three. Mayberry will take third, and he will. Shaw coming around first. He's going to try for second, and he's a two or lower. But nope, he's going to put on the brakes and go back. That's a single for Shaw. The batter now is Patek. Patek is 0 for 3. Panther says, let me try to get out of this inning. If I give up a run, you can get me out of here. 4 nothing Royals. Bottom of the 7th. Fans here liking what they see. Already getting ready to maybe think they're going to be playing the Boston Red Sox in the best of five. Mayberry at third. Charlotte first. Pitch from Panther. 6-5. That's an error on a throw. Patek. 5-4. It's a ground ball to first. That ball is hit to Larry Bittner. His error rating is a 6. That's a 6, and he's going to make a throwing error to Panther. Mayberry will come around and score. Shaw goes to second. Patek first. Panther's range is a 3, and he will prevent the ball from getting past him, but a run will score. It's 5 nothing Royals. Stadium cheers. Yay! That is an E3, and that is the third error on the Rangers in this game. The batter now is Nelson, and they're going to let him bat. Nelson is two for three. Why not? He's got two singles. He's a hot bat. So now runners at first and second on another error committed by the Rangers. Shaw on at second, Patek on at first, and that's that's really not Panthers' fault. He says, hey, that should have been an out. They'll say, well, you know what? Yeah, you're done. Get out of there. That's going to be it for Jim Panther as the Rangers will go to the pen. And he's not very happy that he couldn't get any defense behind him. So coming on to pitch now for the Rangers is going to be Mike Paul. He started last yesterday, but he says he can go today. Eight wins, nine losses, save a 2-1-7 ERA. Paul will be the fourth Ranger pitcher, and you guys know I don't use fatigue anyway. Shaw on it's at least at least regular daily fatigue, regular fatigue for the run for the for the actual relief from starters I do. Shaw on at second, Protec on at first. Now Mike Paul trying to get the inning over. He'll pitch to Nelson is two for three. Paul, 4-2, strikeout, six, swing and a miss, struck him out, and that will end the inning. One run, two hits, one error, and the Royals have a 5 nothing lead after seven. We go to the top of the eighth. Roger Nelson still got plenty of gas left in the tank. And Dick Billings will lead off for the Rangers. He's 0 for 2. Nelson's pitched an absolute gem tonight. Nelson will pitch. Nelson, 6-2, range play. Billings, 
One six. Ground ball right back to Nelson. Nelson was excellent on the mound. His range is a five. That's a two. He's got it. He'll pick it up and toss it over for the out. One down. Nelson, very good fielding, excellent fielding pitcher. And he gets an out. One away. And now here's Fahey. Fahey is 0 for 2. And, hmm. Let's see here. Was it really? The Dang, the bench the Rangers have is just off. Dang, they got a terrible bench. I'm just going to let him stick it out. Fahey will go ahead and bat against Nelson. Fahey is 0 for 2. Nelson, 5-1. That's an automatic. Out! And it's a ground out short. Handled easily there by Patek. And the throw goes over. Out number 2. And now Mason. Mason is 0 for 2. Nelson. He'll go ahead and pitch. Nelson, 6-4. That's a pitcher result. That 6 is going to be an out. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. That'll get taken care of by Patek. He will take his time, toss it over, and retire the side. 1-2-3. Go the Rangers. The Royals have a 5-0 lead. And the Texas Rangers are running out of outs. But, of course, their season was already over. But they are running out of outs because there's only three outs left in their season. Bottom of the eighth inning, Mike Paul is going to stay out there. Top of the order for the Royals. Here's Steve Hovley. He'll bat. He has one for four. In the, in the bottom of the eighth inning here. Paul will go ahead and he will pitch. Paul, one three. That's blank. Hovley, 3-6, and that's a base hit. He'll single that one into center, and the Rangers look, and the Royals looking to get some more. Second hit of the game for Hovley. And now here's Wolford. Wolford will bat. He is one for four. Infield double play. Strategy rolls are off. Royals have a 5 nothing lead. Paul will go ahead and pitch. Paul, 6-5, against the righty. It's a blank. Wolford, 1-5, base hit left field. That's a single for Wolford. Wolf, Hovley, base runner, three. Single to left, minus two. He'll get the third on a one. He won't. He'll hold the second base. Royals trying to make more of a statement. And here comes Otis. The Royals had 22 hits last night in that game against the Rangers. Not that many tonight, though. As a more real, as a more uh, conservative baseball game today. Hovley on at second, Wolford on at first. Paul, he will. He can still bat to two more batters before he tires. Otis will bat against him. Still nobody out, bottom of the eighth. Paul, four, five. That's a blank. He's not tired. Otis, one, three. And it's a line drive to second. That's caught by Harris for out number one. And a one, two, three, or four. Somebody's doubled off. It's a five. Both get back. Wow. Line out to second base. Otis hit it hard, but right at Vic Harris. But both runners get back, so none of them get doubled off. That is out number one. And now here comes Mayberry. Mayberry, two for four, a homer and a single. Hovley on at second, Wolford on at first. Fans here at Municipal Stadium ready to go ahead and celebrate a number three seed. Still got to hold the Rangers for three more outs. Paul, 5-5, five, five, strikeout seven, and swing and a miss, struck him out. He'll get Mayberry, that is out number two. And now here comes Pinella. Pinella is 0 for 4, but he reached on an error. Paul is tired. He says, let me pitch and get this over with. Hovley on at second. Wolford on at first. And now the pitch coming. Paul, 6-2. Walk, 17. That is high. Pinella, 4-3. And that's a grounder to second base. That'll be handled by Vic Harris. He'll take his time and toss it over. And end the inning. No runs, two hits for the Rangers, for the Royals. 5 nothing after 8.
but will we see some ninth inning magic? Roger Nelson can pitch to 30 batters. He's pitched to 25. He has been excellent tonight. As we go to the top of the ninth, Royals three outs away from the ALDS against the Boston Red Sox. The Oakland Athletics will face the winner of the Yankees and the Orioles, but yet we don't know yet who's hosting that game. We will find out after the after 10-minute ticker. Vic Harris is leading off, and he will bat. He's 0 for 2, or will he? And now Harris is going to come out of the game. Rangers are going to try to do anything they can here. Coming on to pitch for the Rangers is going to be Len Randall, a 193 average, two homers, and 21 RBIs. So if this game goes any further, I'll need a second baseman, but Randall can take over. Nelson will go ahead and pitch. Nelson, 3-1. That's an automatic out, and it is a fly ball to right field, and that will be handled by Hovley. For out number one. Pinch hitter coming in for Mike Paul as he will be done. We'll see a new batter for the Rangers. And let's see what's going to be. And coming on to pinch hit will be Hal King. A 180 average, four homers and 12 RBIs. Only had 122 at-bats for the Rangers in 72. Nelson will pitch to King. One out. Nelson, 6-3. That is an automatic out. And that's going to be a fly ball to the left. And Lou Pinella is getting to that. He'll make the catch for out number two. And the last chance for the Rangers will be Dave Nelson. And he's two for three. He's got two singles. Fans here at Municipal Stadium are on their feet. Royals one out away from a meeting with the Boston Red Sox in the ALDS. The fans are loud. They are cheering. Nelson getting the sign. The other Nelson swinging the bat. Roger will pitch. 2-5. Possible error. Nelson. Roger. Dave Nelson. 6-3. Ground ball to third. That ball is hit to Paul Shaw. His ever rating is a 10. That's a 9. And this game is going to continue. Paul Shaw gets handcuffed. He may have been a little bit anxious, but he drops the ball. And Dave Nelson is safe on an E5. That's the first error on the Royals. And they had one error in the game. So Paul Shaw may have been a little bit anxious there, and he makes an error at third base, and the game will continue. Here comes Hara. Hara is 0 for 3, but Dave Nelson got caught stealing and got picked off. But that's not happening here because there's no strategy rolls. Top of the ninth, 5 nothing Royals. Once again, the fans here at Municipal Stadium hoping Roger Nelson can get it done. They are loud. The ALDS is waiting for them. Nelson will go ahead and he will pitch. Nelson, 1-5, walk, 3, ball, 4, and the game will still continue. Roger Nelson walks Toby Hara. Now runners at first and second with two outs, and here's Larry Bittner. Bittner is one for three with a single. They go talk to Roger Nelson on the mound, say, hey, come on, let's just get this game done here. We got to go take on the Red Sox. Nelson on at second, Hara on at first. Once again, the fans here at Municipal Stadium are loud. Roger Nelson trying to get this game done. It's a 5 nothing lead for the Royals with two outs. Bittner waiting to go. No strategy rolls. Fans are loud. Nelson will pitch. 4-5. Strikeout 11. That is high. Bittner. 2-1. And it's a ground ball to short. Getting over there is Fred Patek. He's got it. Pumps once. Pumps twice. Throws to first. That's your game. The Royals beat the Rangers tonight. Five to nothing. They clinch the number three seed. They will play the Boston Red Sox in the American League Division Series. Stadium cheers. Yay, yay.
No runs, no hits, one error, and a walk. Got a little interesting there, but the Kansas City Royals beat the Texas Rangers tonight 5 to nothing as Roger Nelson pitches a shutout. And the Royals are on their way to Boston for games 1, 2, and 5 against the Red Sox in that ALDS. What a win here for the Royals. Final line score coming up. For the Royals, five runs, 11 hits, one error. For the Rangers, no runs, three hits, and three errors. Roger Nelson goes the distance. He gets the complete game. And Don Stanhouse will take the loss. And there, of course, no save or anything like that. But the Texas Rangers, they at least tried to do something. But the Kansas City Royals win the final two games of the regular season. And they are the number three seed, and they will avoid the wild card round. The question is, now we already know that the Yankees will play the Orioles. The question is, where is that game about to be held? We will find that out in a second. Ten-minute ticker is next. The last ten-minute ticker of the 72 season. As I said earlier for you guys, I want to thank you very much for joining me for the 1972 regular season. For those of you who joined, for those of you who joined me for a few games here and there, thank you very much. For those of you who join me for every game, you guys need to get a life. It is now time for the 10-minute ticker brought to you by Fast Score Baseball. So the Royals get a 5-0 lead on Texas. Now it depends what happens with the Yankees. But we will get to them last. Let's first take a look and get rid of the, let's do the games that are meaningless. October 4th, final day of the regular season. Oakland at California. Athletics, 6 45, and that's a 3. Angels, 2-33, and that is 2. And again, all the Athletics have done all season long is win, win, and by the way, they win. Red Sox and the Tigers. Boston, 11-61, and that is 6. Tigers, 10-53, and that's 5. That will be a win for the Red Sox. White Sox at Minnesota. White Sox, 7-45. That's four. They un they underachieved this season. Minnesota 14-22. And that's a three, and that's a win for the White Sox. Tigers also underachieved for the season. They historically won the American League East that year. Dodgers, well, we got the Brewers and the Yankees. We'll skip that. We'll go to the Dodgers and the Braves. Dodgers, 16-41. They also underachieved. And that's five. Atlanta, 8-46. And that is four. That is a win for the Dodgers. Phillies and the Cubs. Phillies, 833. And that is three. Cubs, 1232. And that is also three. They will go into extras. Philadelphia, one minus two is negative one. Cubs, three minus three is zero. Believe it or not, the Cubs are still going to win the game in extras. Astros and the Reds. Astros will play the Pirates in the NLDS. The Reds will play. The Reds will play the Cubs. That's going to be a very interesting series. Astros 1362 and that is 7. Reds 1923 and that's 4. That will be a win for the Strohs. Mets and the Expos, my Mets also badly underachieved. Mets 746 and that is 4. Expos 463, 
and that is five. That's a win for the Spos. No happy recap for the final se for the final day of the season for my New York Mets. Cardinals and the Pirates. Cardinals nine eleven. That's zero. Pirates nine twenty three. That is two. That is a win for the Bucks. Padres and the Giants. Padres five forty six, and that is three. Giants thirteen thirty five. And that's four. That is a win for the G-Men. Now the Milwaukee Brewers against the New York Yankees. Very simple. Since Kansas City has already clinched the three, has already clinched, if the Yankees win, they will be, if the Yankees win, they will be, let's see, they go to 80. If the Yankees win, they will be the four seed. If the Yankees lose, the Orioles will be the four seed. So the Yankees here against the Brewers. All depends to see what happens here and decide where it's going to be held. It will be the Yankees and the Orioles, but will it be at Yankee Stadium or will it be at Memorial Stadium? Let's find out. Brewers, minus 125, that is 1. Yankees, 735, that is 3. The Yankees will get the win. They clinch the 4 seed. The Orioles are the 5 seed. The wild card game will be at Yankee Stadium between the Orioles and the Yankees. That is your 10-minute ticker if your team won tonight. Congratulations. If they didn't. There's always July 1st, because that's when the next season will start. As I said, there will be, I will post the standings and everything like that, and the playoff bracket in the Universal Baseball VIP Lounge. There will be no baseball tomorrow night, because now I got to set up the rosters. It will, and we will be on Friday night baseball. It will be the American League wild card game, and it's a game, I guess, not a series, but it's going to be a playoff. The wild card playoff. The Baltimore Orioles will take on the New York Yankees, and who's the pitching matchup? Well, if you're an Orioles guy, who else is going to start for the Orioles? Come on, can you guys guess who's going to start for the Baltimore Orioles, who's going to be the number one starting pitcher for the Orioles? Come on, you guys know who it's going to be. Let's see who gets it right first. Yep, of course, gentleman Jim Palmer will be pitching for the Orioles. Pitching for the Yankees is going to be Steve Klein. He gets my number one, he gets my ace uh, for the Yankees. For 1972, Steve Klein will be pitching for the Yankees in that game. So, 7.30, Friday night, Orioles at the Yankees, the American League wildcard playoff. The 1972 postseason is on its way. Palmer and Klein, be there or be square. David Vega, Clee Baseball fan, Phoenix Knight, Brian Patterson, Sports Time Machine, Brian B., After Further Review with Steve Tower. Uh, let's see here. Frank Rosank, John Haverly, Dwayne Martz. Uh, let's see here. Joe in Pico. And uh, John, let's see here. I think I got him. Uh, Vita Productions, of course. Doug Sessoms. Steeler fan, of course. John and Bob's Tabletop Sports, Jimmy Jam, and of course, Mr. Jeremy Brooks. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. Subscribe if you're not done so, and make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys Friday night. The Kansas City Royals shut out the Texas Rangers 5 to nothing. Kansas City is the three seed. So, our division series, our wild card game is set as the Baltimore Orioles will be at the New York Yankees. The winner will face the Athletics. Kansas City will take on Boston in the other ALDS. No wild card games in the National League. The Astros will play the Pirates. The Cubs will play the Reds. This is going to be a very interesting postseason. How will it start? How will it end? We'll see you guys Friday night for the wild card.